we crank forward to uh, John Paul II's uh, faith and, and reason, uh, you will find him uh, saying, well, you know, I'm going to talk about philosophy. And it's as if he, he's trying to um, uh, reassure his reader, don't get nervous, I'm going to talk about philosophy. And then he says what he means by philosophy. And he does it in a way that is meant to assure any reader uh, that he's been doing it already. He's been, he's been engaged in philosophy. Why? Because philosophy can be summed up, philosophizing, uh, the Pope says, can be summed up in the, the great question, what does it all mean? Huh? Why are we here? What is right and what is wrong? Uh, is death the end? What can we hope for? Those are big questions. And they're not too big for anybody. You hear them talk uh, uh, down at McDonald's, young men and women uh, uh, talk about them and, uh, and uh, uh, consider them uh, old people, uh, uh, think about them. What's it all mean? Uh, we can't help but ask those questions. And the Pope says, you're doing philosophy, uh, in effect, when you ask those questions. Now, anyone who teaches introductory philosophy perhaps begins in that way. Uh, to reassure the students that they've already been engaged in asking the kinds of questions that are going to be uh, dealt with in the, uh, in the course. But the Pope goes beyond that in, in uh, Faith and Reason, uh, and he says it's not just that there are certain questions uh, that sooner or later every human being is going to pose. There are answers to those questions which are commonly held answers to the question, what does it all mean? Does God exist? What's the difference between good and evil? Is there a common uh, agreement uh, on those matters? Uh, the Pope says there is, but it's implicit. He calls it, it's as if we've come upon uh, an implicit philosophy or answers to those questions which implicitly all human beings hold. And it can be shown that that's, that's a tenable position. You can show that, indeed, uh, that lurking uh, in um, just about anyone's attitude uh, towards the world and statements about the world and about himself, lurking uh, in uh, those, uh, uh, that judgment, his personal philosophy, will be a recognition uh, of, of these truths, implicit, even uh, in cases where the surface philosophy is denying uh, those truths. But that's a long story, and it's uh, what keeps philosophers employed, uh, showing that other philosophers are, uh, are wrong. The, uh, the church is interested in philosophy in that classical sense, because in that classical sense, philosophy is not just word games. It's not uh, studying what the scientist does or uh, what the artist does and so forth, those things too. But it's aimed at it's aimed at such knowledge as the human mind, unaided by revelation, can come to of God the Creator. So